Welcome to an example on how to solve an initial value problem involving a linear first order differential equation using the technique of an integrating factor. We want to solve y prime plus two xy equals e to the power of the quantity x minus x squared with the initial condition y of zero equals negative one. First notice how the given differential equation is in the form we need or standard form, which on the right is y prime plus p of x times y equals f of x. Comparing this form to the given differential equation, notice p of x is equal to two x and f of x is equal to e to the power of the quantity x minus x squared. Next we determine the integrating factor and then multiply both sides of the equation by the integrating factor. The integrating factor is r of x which is equal to e to the power of the integral of p of x dx, which in our case I've shown in blue below which is r of x equals e to the power of the integral of two x dx. Integrating two x with respect to x, we have two times x squared divided by two, which simplifies the x squared plus a constant, leaving the constant off for now, we have r of x equals e to the power of x squared. The next step is to multiply both sides of the equation by the integrating factor, which gives us e to the power of x squared times y prime plus two x e to the power of x squared y equals e to the power of the quantity x minus x squared times e to the power of x squared. Now we know the left side of the equation is equal to the derivative of the product of the integrating factor in y with respect to x. Simplifying on the right, because we're multiplying in the basis of the same, we add the exponents. x minus x squared plus x squared simplifies to x, giving us e to the x on the right. The next step is to integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x. On the left, the integral undoes a derivative, leaving us with e to the power of x squared times y, and on the right, the integral of e to the x with respect to x is e to the x plus c. The next step is to solve for y by dividing both sides by e to the power of x squared, which I've shown here on the right. This gives us y equals e to the x divided by e to the x squared plus c divided by e to the x squared. And e to the x divided by e to the x squared is equal to e to the power of the quantity x minus x squared and we can write c divided by e to the x squared as plus c times e to the power of negative x squared. Now we use the initial condition of y of zero equals negative one to determine the constant c. Performing the substitution, we have the equation here in blue on the left, negative one equals e to the power of zero plus c times e to the power of zero. Simplifying, we have negative one equals one plus c, and therefore c equals negative two. The last step is to replace c with negative two which gives us a particular solution of y equals e to the power of the quantity x minus x squared minus two e to the power of negative x squared. I hope you found this helpful.